Yo guys and welcome back to another video and it's another weekly vlog and I'm starting it on the Saturday, I've just finished the last vlog but um, yeah I just thought I'm going to start it in the next few days just so I get the other one uploaded and also it's so weird because I faked tan last night and I used the, the filter one by Molly May and I used that on and off but I don't use it much because it's expensive and I had the dark one but for some reason like it's gone really like not patchy but like really funny on my arm so I'm a bit confused, but apart from that, it looks okay, so I don't really know why it's done that. But yeah, my Saturday is the most uninteresting Saturday, because I just want to have a chill day, and I've been doing my work and stuff, and cleaning. So that's what we get up to on a Saturday. But yeah, I just thought I'd intro the vlog, because tomorrow should be really, really good. Won't film loads, but we'll try and film what I can. I should be able to. Um, but yeah, it should be really good fun, and... um. You'll see what happens. So it's literally already boiling and it is a Sunday and I'm just gonna I might show you my outfit quickly. Um I'm literally sweating and I feel like I'm gonna have to take the jacket off, but it's kind of the main part of the outfit, so my outfit's kind of boring without it. So basically Oh my hair literally looks really awful like that. Um I've just got my blue blazer on, my blue jeans and quite a simple outfit to be honest and I've literally, my hair is half kind of curly, it's just kind of fallen out but yeah, basically that is my, oh why are we zoomed in, don't want to be that zoomed in, I've got pretty basic makeup on just because I'm tired and I don't want to get hot and like have loads of makeup on so that's basically the situation but I'm really excited to be fair and my train is in like 20 minutes so I need to go soon but I just thought I'd intro the vlog and show you guys my outfit quickly and like I said I don't know how much I'm going to film today but I'll try my hardest to get a few clips and they'll be on my phone because I'm not going to take my camera because it doesn't fit in any bag as usual but yeah hopefully I get a little bit of content for you guys So guys, I've literally had such a good day. We're going to know how rough I look because I get I look rough because I've been in London. Um, but basically, so it was a really good show and it's obviously like really special to like, um, it's obviously really special to like have that ceremony for them because obviously they were in, in Tokyo and the Olympians, it's basically the Paralympic homecoming. They obviously didn't really get to like experience obviously having the fans and having people there. So it's obviously nice to have the like ceremony thing for something in, in obviously in England for them to like enjoy kind of thing um, in Great Britain obviously. But yeah, it was literally such a good show. We saw like James Arthur, like um, Birdie was insane. And it was really good because basically there was a dancer, which you'll see in the clips are insert, um, but he was obviously in a, in a wheelchair. And he, was, he basically like thought that he wouldn't be able to dance again and it was just fantastic. Like you can see obviously what he does. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of inspiring to be honest and like it's always a good vibe. Obviously it's been filmed so it's actually on telly soon so I could obviously watch it back but I'm literally shattered and obviously I've just seen it so I don't need to watch it back. But um, obviously if you guys do want to watch it, it will be on Channel 4. Um, we're not in obviously any of the films because it's just like, it's obviously focusing on the like, Paralympians and because it's just like... I think they obviously did get bits of the audience, but we were like, we were, we had a good view, but obviously we were like higher up and the cameras are usually like on the floor level, so it's most like their family. And they interviewed a lot of them and stuff, which was interesting to hear their chats. And then basically the best part kind of thing was afterwards, we basically, we had a lot of people screaming and stuff, and they were like walking to the hotel. So we thought, you know what, we're going to have a look. And I'm going to insert some photos because it's really quite entertaining, well, not entertaining, but just unexpected. We basically started speaking to a few of them, and they were literally so lovely. So I insert some of the photos photos me and my friends got and they let us try on their medals so I got to hold a gold and silver medal and they're actually like so heavy that like, it's actually mad but they were literally so lovely and really nice people so that was obviously like a nice experience as well and it sort of made the day because it was like we just got to have a little chat with them and hold their medals and stuff and I never thought I'd like hold a medal in my life so that was like a bit you know it was quite nice so we had a good fun and obviously now I'm back and it's like probably like just gone 
nine maybe I think, so it's not even too late, but I'm just gonna like get my makeup off and go to bed. But I'm literally shattered. And I've got a busy day tomorrow because I've got to film at the gym for my course. So guys, I'm gonna film quickly on my phone because I don't wanna plug up my camera, obviously, because I'll be filming videos. But basically, um, today is the day I'm going to be filming in the gym. And obviously, it's the first time I've filmed in the gym for my course. And I feel like I'm nervous because, like, I don't know. I feel like I've never seen other people do it. And I feel like, like, properly with, like, a tripod and stuff. So I feel like people are going to be like, what the hell is she filming? Or, like, who does she think she is? And it's like, it's generally for a cause. Please don't come at me. Um, luckily, like, um, I get on well with the gym manager and he's helping us. So it should be all right, and most of it's in the studio, so obviously there's not classes on when I'm going. Should be okay, and I'm so thankful that my friend's helping me because I'd be stuffed without it. Um, but yeah, I'm just nervous because obviously I have to like not stop the footage, so that's kind of quite a hard thing, like whilst moving the camera and everything like that. So it's going to be interesting, but fingers crossed, please pray for me that it goes well, because um, I really don't want to have to do it again either, but yeah, it should be fine, and I am excited, but um, yeah, it's going to be scary. I literally just got back, and literally just walked in the door, and literally, it went so well, like, I'm literally so lucky I had my friend to help me, because it's so, it is, it's not hard work, like, I'm so tired now, I'm like a bit drained, but only because it was like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but literally, it went so well, I'm so happy with what I've done, and what we've done, I'm going to have some food now because I'm starving and it's lunchtime. And then I'm going to do a little workout myself because obviously I didn't do a workout today. I just like demonstrated. And then I'm going to have a shower and wash my hair. So very interesting stuff. And then I'm going to look through the videos. Um, but yeah, I literally, I'm so happy with how it went. Kind of glad it's over, but like I did enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I didn't enjoy it, but it's just kind of hard work. A lot of concentration because you have to be really careful not to say the wrong thing because it's like continuous recording. But yeah, I'm just going to continue. I just thought I would let you guys know that I'm back and it all went really well. So guys, it is currently a Thursday and it's Thursday like dinner time. So it's been a busy week, I'm not gonna lie, even though I purposely didn't set to do too much. I've had a decent week to be fair, even though it's been pretty chill compared to what see previous weeks. And I just had dinner, I had satay chicken and noodles, which is really good. And I'm just gonna explain my day because it has been a busy day. So basically i went to the gym and that was all fine i had a good session and i got up earlier i'm trying to get up earlier to get used to going before i go back to uni and just because i'm more productive i get more done and i'm not messing around um because i feel like recently i've just like kind of got out of the swing of things um and i've had a lot of work to do so it's been like difficult but yeah so basically I had food, yeah, so I went to um, the gym, I had a really good session, did drop sets today, which was honestly like kind of fun, like I quite enjoyed it, um, it was a hard session, came back, washed all my hair, put my makeup on, and done a bit more of my work, and I filmed the first part of my haul, which is the main like intro and talking through it, and then, because I don't think I even said that I'd order clothes, and I got loads of, my, my parcels came, best in my autumn stuff, um, nothing that crazy though, it's all pretty simple stuff, but you guys will see it if you watch the haul. And I'm talking a lot now because obviously I haven't vlogged the last two days basically, so it's just I'm just trying to update you guys on my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've also got a pure gym um, like meeting thing in a minute, which is like this business thing for week eight, and then week eight will be pretty much done once I've done all that. Um, and what else have I got to do? And I've just got some week seven stuff to finish and it's all got to be marked and hopefully I've passed all of it. And then I've just got the last few weeks to do, which should be okay. Um, what else was I going to say? But yeah, so I've had a good day to be fair. It's been productive and tomorrow again, I also started my uni summer work very late, I know, but I literally completely forgot about it. And I was like, I'll do it in August, do it in August. And I'm like, it's, it's, it's September. I go back in less than two weeks. And I also don't know how any timetables. So I've got a zilch idea at the moment. What is going on? So that is not ideal when the slide is. I'm going to go do this meeting, do some more work before I stop vlogging is I got some of these and I like to get off doing the little canned drinks just because I don't always want a whole bottle and these are actually lush so if you guys like like pink gin kind of stuff recommend trying one of these so I'm just going to drink this as I go because I just thought I felt like a nice drink because it's a warm day so yeah. So guys basically I'm just going to turn this way because of the light it is now Saturday. Last night I ended up going out. It was actually really good because one of my friends has just moved into her uni halls. Um, so it just makes sense and it's nearer to where like the club is we go in where I am, only by a little bit. 
Um, but yeah, I stayed with her because none of her other flatmates have moved in like till today. So obviously it's just nice that she got to stay there as well. And I've like really moved the flats. I'm just going to show you what I've done because I've had a busy day. I had to finish my work. I've sent that off for this week. And then I've been hiding the flat and sorting everything out like that. So I'm just going to show you what I've done. First of all, I did go to Primark earlier, and I got, like, I know I keep seeing these strip lights everywhere. Well, I saw them a while ago on TikTok. And obviously I've got some in the kitchen. Don't get me wrong, they're not very long, but they're 150. And you could definitely double up and have one once I won the other side. Like, you could do a lot. But the fact they're 150, obviously these aren't like, nothing like the quality of the ones I've got in the kitchen because they work with the Alexa and everything. These are just battery. But for something like what I need for this, I don't want any more plugs, I just want batteries. So basically, my desk situation obviously is like this. When I'm working in here in the dark, well not in the dark, but later on, the only um, lights I have in this room, apart from this lamp I've just put in, are my fairy lights and the, the light up here. And the light up here is so bright and horrible, I just didn't want that on all the time, especially not when I'm trying to look at the screen. And they're not quite bright enough, so I can't really see the keyboard and that. So basically, I got these lights. I've just got a little battery pack here and can we just appreciate like how effective that looks so decent doesn't it like it doesn't look bad at all and for 150 obviously you can see the wire slightly there but for 150 we are just not going to complain because it looks so much better and it just provides me with a tiny bit more light so that's the first thing and I've hoovered all this room and made it all tidy what am I foot stuck I do and then on to the next thing, if I can get through the door. Basically, let me just show you guys. My kitchen's had a change around. So obviously before I had my microwave here and now I basically have like no worktop space. So this is my only worktop space. So I basically decided that I'm gonna move my microwave from here and I also got a coffee machine, which I put here, but I haven't got the pods yet. So you guys will definitely see footage of that when I do it. But I've now got all this space and then I've put like my chopping boards and stuff in there. It looks a bit messy, I promise you guys, it's not that messy, it's just because it's dark and you literally can't see. And I have no, not, like, knives and forks are in there. It is organised and they're in the organ organiser, but I just really didn't look it. Anyway, yeah, so I put my biscuit jar there, which was over here. And then if we move over to this part, I've now got my microwave just on top here. And I had it like this. I'm just going to come back to me. I had it like that literally last year and um, that's what I originally got the trolley one because I didn't, the trolley four, because I didn't have many like, um, um, like, but just didn't have many like kitchen covers and stuff so it was just easy to have it on that so it's out the way. Um, I just didn't have much space basically and yeah so that's why I put it over there and I just thought originally I was like no it won't look right with the TV but now I'm just like you know what it does look better because I've, it looks fresher here there's more space I can make my coffee can, I've got, I can put my boards down and everything like that I might put a chopping board down to be fair I'm not sure yet um, and obviously I've got all my space with my microwave over there so yeah that's basically what I've been doing the flat is now perfectly clean and I'm going to end this vlog because I want to edit this vlog get it uploaded for tomorrow for you guys and then I don't know if I'll vlog next week because I don't think I've got much going on next week apart from my course and going to gym but if you guys want to see like a workout or like a what I do kind of gym video then let me know because that's something I would actually quite enjoy doing and it would be obviously just make sense of what I'm doing anyway so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye